Show Champion. Good morning you carpy lot and you join me on my holidays today um, I'm down at sorry I'm over at uh, Colton Colton Mere uh, in Saxmordham I'm here for about four days uh, on a holiday with a family um, I've got two days fishing though so hopefully we can get something out on the bank and show you. Um, today I'm fishing the top lake, which um, is quite heavily stocked with fish, uh, and one that come out recently at roughly around about 30 pounds. So hopefully we get a big girl today. Um, so on my uh, left hand rod, I'm fishing the Tor Baits Pineapple Wafter. And on my right hand rod, I'm fishing the Lobstore Slime Wafter. So the lake itself um, is very, very weedy. Uh, the weed is up to the surface in some places. So I'm having to find uh, the solid spots, but the solid areas are quite big. So, um, and you can, kind of, you can kind of see them in between the weed anyway, because wherever the weed's growing, it is completely up to the surface. So it does make it a little bit easier for um, finding them hard spots but line lay that is very very tricky um, I've had my rods out for about two hours I've had one bite um, the bobbin lifted right up started uh, running forward uh, then it dropped back into some weed and I think it just spat the hook out into the weed because um, Well, I'll show you the ball of weed that I pulled in in a minute um, I've, It looked like half a bloody tree coming out of the water Was not happy <laughs> um, But yeah, right, let's uh, let's show you the lake and show you the spots and tell you what I'm fishing with A fish has just shown right there which is about four or five rod lengths away from my left hand rod. So my left hand rod is about here. It's only about four or five rod lengths out, so it's quite close in. Um, I don't know if you can see. No, you can't see it on the camera, um, but there's a little weed bed that runs along here and I'm just casting past that. Uh, and I've just put a little bit of um, spod mix, about five spoms over the top of it with uh, the pineapple slime wafter. My right hand rod, however, is this island here, just around about here is where my right hand rod is, just off of the island. Yeah, just about there um, is where my right hand rod is. And I've got the lobster slime wafter on that one. And again, I've uh, I've spotted out about five spoms over the top of that. Uh, I have been advised they're not feeding that heavily at the moment. Um, but I might change that up later on. I might put a few more out. But yeah, 
It's a pretty lovely lake, to be honest. Loads of features to fish to. Um, there's an aerator. I don't know if I can see it from here. No, I can't see it. It's just past this bush, around the corner there. There's an aerator pumping oxygen into the water. Yeah, but other than that, I've not really seen much showing, uh, apart from the one I've just uh, show you, uh, said about a minute ago. So there are my spots. Um, the rules on this lake are two rods only, um, and also barbless hooks. Um, so I have only got me two rods out. Hopefully I'll see you very soon with a nice big fish in my hands. Tie lines. Hi guys. Unfortunately, the footage has gone peak tongue on the uh, little 10 pound common that I just had. Um, so I'm gonna have to apologize for that. I, I don't know what's happened there. It just decided to record the audio, but not the actual visual stuff. Oh well, you win some, you lose some, eh? Um, but I did manage to get some pictures, so I hope you enjoyed them. Tight lines. Yes, you carpy lot. Got a lovely little uh, 10 pound common. Always good to get off the mark. Yeah, let's bring them up to show you. Oh, there he is. Look at that. First one, it's always nice to, on a new lake, you know, to uh, get your first carp. But what a stunner. I mean, look at them lips. Absolutely perfect. Right, I'm going to take a few snaps and I'm going to send this one back. Let's hope you can tell Grandad I'm waiting for him. Tight lines. Off you go. There he goes. What a way to get off the mark, eh? Right, let's get this rod back out, guys. From underneath that tree there where I saw that fish roll about two or three hours ago. 11 wraps out, spot on. Well, happy days. What a lovely 10 pound common that was. And what a way to start your holiday, eh? Um, yeah, so as I said, I'm down at Colton Mears Holiday Park in uh, Saxon Morden. Um, and I, I can't say it, it is a beautiful lake. And as you've seen, the fish are absolutely stunning. And the lips on that were pristine. Um, for a holiday park venue, I was expecting it to be a little bit more um, scuffed up, especially from what I was hearing off of other anglers uh, being told that the, the lips didn't look too great on some of the fish, but that was perfect. So as I said, I caught that fish 11 wraps out just off of the other bank. Um, I'll show you in a second where I, uh, where I actually caught her from. On a pineapple slime wafter from the Tor Bates range, yeah, so hopefully I'll see you in a little while with another carp um, in my hands. I mean, the alarms have been beeping quite a lot, so there's, there's definitely fish still in the area. So let's hope one of them gets nailed. Tie lines. Yeah, he's in that weed. He knows. They all know, don't they, fish? Not silly, are they? Clever, I'll tell you what, really. Champion. Move that dial one more, you'll pick up Radio 1. Lot <laughs> 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 of interference, Randy. Does it feel a good fish, Scott? But you can't tell because it's in the weed, isn't it? The weed. Yeah. It's all happening here on the river bank. There you can see the tensioning of the rod there. 
He's really fighting this fish hard. <laughs> Um, well, I have had another bite since um, my last update, um, but unfortunately I didn't land it, I lost it to the weed. Um, I'll show you a picture of what I actually did land in the end, it was, it's absolutely horrendous. Um, I strongly suggest if you ever come to a lake with weed this bad, you drop the lead straight away. Um, have your lead set to, to uh, come off at, on the take of the carp. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying myself. Uh, I'm going to stay here till probably about five. I can fish seven till seven. You're only allowed to fish, um, on a day ticket here, unless you're an owner. If you're an owner of a caravan, then you can actually fish the night, but on the website, it doesn't tell you that. So just bear that one in mind. If you ever do think about booking, uh, booking up to come here, uh, specifically for the fishing, um, but yeah, so, so three bites, one landed, two lost to the weed, um, unfortunately. So, fingers crossed, I've moved my spots away from the weed now because it's just proven impossible to, to land a fish because they're just diving straight in the weed, locking you up tight. There, there's nothing you could do. Yeah, there was literally nothing I could do. It just... I even put the rod on the rest for a little while to see if I could get it to loosen up, but it was too late. It spat the hook, I think, and yeah, swam off. I did see a fish um, show not long after that, and I honestly think that it, it was taking the mickey. But, is what it is. That's fishing in it. You win some, you lose some. Oh well, like I said, fingers crossed. Hopefully I can get another one on the bank before I pack up at about five, six o'clock-ish. All right, tie lines, guys. It's still not a bigger fish, no. I think it is a bigger fish. Hey, silly goes. We'll weigh that one. Cheers, boss. Oh, right then, you carpy lot. <laughs> Happy days on the lobster slime ball wafter. Yeah, um, this time, it, this was on my right hand rod, but I'd moved my right hand rod because of the weed, I'd moved it over to near the tree where I had the, uh, the other fish earlier, um, which the move seems to have paid off. I was literally just planning to move myself. Um, but yeah, right, anyway, let's get this fish sorted. So, are you ready? Yeah. I just had this lovely 14 pound common, yeah? And like I said, fell to the lobster slime ball wafter. Yeah, 11 wraps out again. What an absolute beauty. Look at them lips again. Absolutely pristine. Right, let's flip around. And I'll show you the other side quickly before I slip her back. Look at that. Absolute bar of gold. I was just about to move down where I'd seen some fish uh, showing, but I'm glad I didn't now. I left them out for a little 10 more minutes. Beautiful. All right, just gonna get a couple of pictures now and slip her back. Sling. Look at how clear that water is. Right then, you carpy lot. Um, 
I think after that second fish, I'm going to call it a day now. I'm pretty chuffed with the session I've had. Uh, I've had a ten. I've had that ten pound common, and then I had the fourteen pound common. But like I said, I lost two in in the weeds. So that's four fish, two landed. Happy days. Uh, and on for on a new venue, that's that's pretty good going, I think. Um, so yeah, so I've had one to the lobster and one to the pineapple slime ball wafters. Yeah, absolutely smashing bait from tour baits thank you tony smith absolutely grand stuff um so yeah so i'm gonna finish off packing down and then i'm gonna head off back to the caravan get some dinner um and then get back out here tomorrow see if i can wangle a couple more out tight lines good afternoon you carpy lot and welcome to day two um of my holiday yeah day one was really successful i think two fish what a day um Day two, it's been a little bit quieter. Um, I've been set up from about 10 o'clock. It's now just gone one, I think. Um, I've had one bite, but I lost that in the weed again. The weed here is ridiculous. I've, uh, they just go straight for it as well. They know exactly where it is. And yeah, I just lifted up into, into the rod I, I felt I felt the hook bait pop out of its mouth anyway, so. Mm. But we'll stay positive for now. Um, I've just recasted that rod back out onto the uh, the spot. I'll show you them in a minute. Um, yeah, there's fish showing out in front of me, so hopefully I'll have something on the bank to show you soon. Tight lines. So then, guys, like I said, I'll quickly show you my spots. It's uh, just starting to rain, so my right hand rod is that bin there yeah just in line with it literally not even not even what four or five inches from the bank yeah but well, actually probably is probably about a foot just a foot of, from the bank actually um and then my second rod is literally just there, the edge of that um, flat flat area of water. But yeah, so that is the lake from the bottom end view. There is a up the top end there. There's an aerator that is constantly pumping in uh, oxygen into the water, um, and I believe that it is fed um you see them reeds in the distance over here they behind them there's like a um almost like another tiny little pond um and that seems to be feeding this lake and then this lake seems to feed the other lake behind me which is if i show you that now and this lake guys it's called the bottom lake there's a couple of people fishing just to my left there so i'll be a little bit quiet because they're on the float um but yeah it is a stunning little venue to be fair the aerator up the other on the other lake looks exactly like that one in front of us there if i can zoom in there we go constantly pumping oxygen into the water and they go on all night long but like i said uh, you can only fish here if you're an owner overnight so which is a bit of pain but oh well right anyway guys let's uh, see if i can get saint on the bank for you guys tight lines <laughs> 